Greetings, adventurers, warriors, and outlanders. I am Commander Calgon. Welcome to Morrowind. We are on an epic journey, my friends. We are on an epic journey to the Urshalaku camp. To meet with the Sulmata and uh, Nibimaisa. I hope I'm pronouncing those right. Nevertheless, first we travel to Alderun. I suppose you're looking for a tavern. I'm sure I can help you. I'm sure you can. You look like a man that knows how to drink, good sir. Perhaps we could drink some skooma and get weird. Let us go to Margon. We can begin our journey from there. Ryder, take me to Margon. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. I'm sure a lot of people take the Silt Strider. This is going to be a difficult journey. Or maybe not. It seems like the path is well marked. Aha! Only a matter of time before you reared your ugly head bird. Nothing makes me more furious than being attacked by racers while in the middle of an ash storm. It's insult to injury. Bloody hell. Nothing. Nothing for Dravenger. How dare you try- oh wow, we are not going the correct direction. Did I just hear a goat? I hear goats! Why do I hear goats? I'm sure we'll make it through this ash storm, adventurers. I have no worries. I have no fears. I am potentially the Reverend. If it is my... If it is my... Destiny... To... Oh, we've got to wait for him to be down here. Come on. Come on. Little pain in the ass. If it is my destiny to unite the tribes of the Dunmer and restore Vardenfell to its former glory, then I'm sure I can take on a little ash storm. Of course, kind of hard to see my way through the prophecy if I can't see my way through a storm. Those are mountains. Be it possible to go along the coastline? Hold on to your scabbards, adventurers. We're going to get wet. Oh. What the hell was that noise? Fantastic. Whoa. Okay. Daedric ruins. What's attacking me? I hear the music. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, it's a clan fear. Okay. Oh, it's a Daedra heart. Do I have any magic? Uh, yes, I do. Some cheap. May need a little bit more magic to get through here. Oh, God damn it. Not doing too hot. Fear not, adventurers. We have this under control. Okay. It would seem that the beasts are in greater numbers and of more ferocity. We'll just take care of this guy since he's gonna mess. With, he's gonna try and gang up on us anyways. Stupid racer! Asherna Bittishby. Appears to be some sort of camp. Oh, yes. You come to talk? Then talk, Outlander. You want to speak to Suoma too. You want to speak to Nabani Maisa. Have they sent for you? No. If they have not sent for you, then you will not be not speak to them. You are an Outlander, and Suoma too is our chief, and Nabani Maisa is our wise woman. They will not speak to you. What the hell? What the? What the hell's that? What the? It's a freaking magic cockroach! Is that all? Is that all you? Is that all you got? How did you get in here? Leave it once or I will kill you myself. Right on. I mean, it's always a it's a pretty good sign. Somebody does not want you in their home. Yeah. You talk too much. Yes, I do. Welcome, Outlander. I have a few humble items offered for sale, or perhaps there is something you wish to discuss. So, you want to speak with Sul Matul and Nabani Misa? I doubt that is possible. You are an outlander and have no permission to speak with them. You cannot risk offending them. I suggest you speak with the Gulakan Zab Zabamund. His yurt is just across from mine. With a recommendation from a sub-chief like Zabamund, Sul Matul might be willing, more willing to speak with you. Oh, interesting. Let's go ahead and get everything fixed really quick, you know, just in case we've got a, you know... Beat some ass. Shh, 
char is yurts. Wise woman's yurts. Ahasor's yurt. Shimsoon's yurt. Sai Sakian's yurt. But I don't have. Miley's yurt? Yeah, but like. Oh, Zabamoon's. Oh, there we go. Zabamoon. Damn. Talk, Outlander. Speak with, with respect and I will listen. Sul Matua will not talk to you. Nabani Misa will not talk to you. You have no standing amongst us, Outlander. It is our custom among strangers. We honor this custom with gold. Oh, buddy. Oh, I gave him a thousand gold. Sharing is good, Draven Girl. I like sharing. I gave him a thousand gold. But you speak well and with respect. And gold. So I will explain. It is against our customs that an outlander should speak to the at to an Ashcan or wise woman. I I'll tell you also that Sul Matul has no love for outlanders. Oh, God, I didn't have to give him any of the money, did I? Oh! The Nerevarine prophecies are not for outlanders. Why should Sul Matul and Nabani Misa speak to you about these things? Who are you that we should trust you? Yes, a gift of 200 gold coins. This is an earnest proof of your respect. Yes, I believe you should speak to our Ashcan. Perhaps he will be angry with me, but I think I can bear that. Go to the Ashcan's yurt and speak with Sulmatul. Ask him your questions and tell him I have sent you. You flatter me with your attention. Serious? Seriously? Go. Go. I, I hope you end up as Cliff Racer shit. I just want you to know that. From the bottom of my heart... From the bottom of my heart, you are the biggest fetcher. Largest fetcher I've ever met. Oh, you're not glowing anymore, huh? Yes, Draven Gur, you wish to talk to me about the Nerevarine prophecies. Go ahead, I am very curious. You think you fulfilled the never 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 the Nereverine prophecies. You wish to be tested to see if you are the Nereverine. No outlander may join the Nereverine cult. If you were a clan friend and adopted member of the Ashlander tribes, then perhaps I have an initiation rite in mind. If you pass this rite, I will adopt you as a clan friend and a friend of the Ashlanders. And then I will submit you to Damati Misa, our wise woman, who is skilled in oracles and mysteries and who will test you against the prophecies. To be adopted into the tribe, you must undergo a harrowing. In the harrowing, you will be judged by the spirits and ancestors to see if you are worthy. Go to the Urshilakuk burial caverns and fetch me Sul Senapul's bone biter bow. Sul Senapul was my father, and his spirit guards his bone mold longbow deep in the burial caverns. Return to me with this bow, and I will adopt you into the Ashlander tribes as a clan friend. Whatever you're looking for, I'm sure I don't know how to find it. You just, you just, you just, you just. Mm. All right. So, um, ah. Uh. Or Shilaku burial caverns. The burial caverns lie to the south southeast of the camp, a north facing door and a little hill halfway between us 
and the slopes of Red Mountain, go north from the camp to the water, then turn east. At a rock cairn on the beach, turn and head straight south until you find the door. The spirits of our ancestors guard the caverns. They will attack and will kill you if they can. Force your way past them or evade them. Get the bow and return to prove your worthiness. Indeed. Indeed. Alright, let's get to the water. It's our first step. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Oh no. No! What the hell is that? <laughs> okay, let's check our turn. Lies south, southeast. Halfway between the camp and the slopes of Red Mountain. Oh. oh, right. Rat. Easy enough. Ah! Ah! Jackass! Why don't you knock that shit off? Whoa. Oh, okay. Alright, it's just a light show. It's just a light show. Right? Ooh, wow. Okay. Whoa, hey, yo. No, 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 no. Oh. What? What? Yo, come on, let me... Oh wow. No, you're not. Ugh. Aha. Eat me. I was going to say something else. Eat my ass, spirits. Serious with this shit.
Because I love being in the water. I didn't know rats could swim. Wow, that's that's unsettling. Oh shit. Oh no. No, 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 you don't. Uh, how do I get out of this? God damn it. Fuck, come on. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. We have no choice. We have to go back. We have to go back. There's just no... Where the... Where in that? Where am I? This is Gnesis? Really? Okay. And away we go. I guess... I guess Alderaan. I gotta find something that... I gotta find something that fights off... Paralysis. Something that fights off paralysis. I need something that fights Desperate. off paralysis. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Fucking asshole! All they have is ash salts. Abanabi. That is not it. Oh, yo, I'm very close. There's something dead over there. That's usually a good sign that I've been somewhere. 
Is this it? It is. Alright. Alright, we're gonna have to fight through these guys again. Right? Makes sense. Oh, wow. You got bow too, huh? You know what? We'll leave those there. Just don't know. No, no, no. Get up there, you son of a bitch. No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Just uh, calm down, calm down. All right. So, Come on! Come on, no! God damn it. Whew! All right. All right. Fuck your ring, Fargoth. It's a piece of shit. Alright, Let's go down this way first. Lateris burial. What the fuck is that? There's something in his hands. Some kind of book.
Kepka burial. Wow, this place is pretty freaking massive. Oh god, come on, come on. No, no. Kakuna. Oh my god, it keeps going. Oh boy, I wish I had Levitate now. Juno Burial. Alright, none of these are what I'm looking for. And I don't want to get too... I, I, I really want to go and I want to rob all these. God, I want to. It's so appealing. It's just... It's, it's, it's seriously tantalizing. It's titillating. It's titillating. That's how... That's how... That's how... I mean, I'm aroused. But, um... We're gonna have to come back for this because we've got we got kind of a mission, and I'm gonna need to levitate the shit. I, I want to come back and get all of it, so I'm gonna want levitate before I do anything. Was that the first burial man, the fragile burial man? Yeah, it was. All right, just out of curiosity, is there anything down here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Interesting. That is stuff. That is cool stuff. That is stuff to know. Okay. Let's, uh, have a quick save. What are we going to use? Um, that elemental burst fire worked really well. How many of those do we have? We have one left. Hope we can get down on them. Sure that we got enough magic here. Oh shit! Somebody else is fucking firing on you, you cunt. and arrows oh, don't tell me I'm not going to be able to get up here Oh god. Of course of course they're gonna make it so that I need levitate.
Okay, so this is obviously not where I need to go. Well, I'm so glad I'm so glad that I spent all that time uh, trying to mm, get all these things together to come down here to this cave and um, you know get these things that don't matter, right? Right? Okay, so obviously we are definitely, we are definitely going to have to go into here, which is obviously our main objective. And there's no tomb down here, so let's go back up to the top and let's just start from the top, go all the way down to the bottom. Oh god, come on, man. Okay. Dave? What the fuck? I don't know what the hell's going on with me. What the hell's going on with me? Unraveling, dispel fifty. I don't under what the. Ugh. Ugh. Oh God. Well, at least he doesn't have arrows. Seriously, I'll take anybody with the Warhammer over these freaking god arrows any day. too fast oh oh these guys got regular arrows All right, we did what we could. Oh shit. Ok, 
Okay, they hit me with a whole bunch of shit. Uh, endurance, strength, and drain fatigue, which really isn't going to do a whole lot to me. What's my health at? Um, Alright, let's get this Magicka back up, because we're going to need the Magicka. I don't know, we'll just take... This is not working out well. took a lot the bone but oh the bone butters bow of set up hole yes we did an adventure I'm over encumbered We did it. We freaking did it. We freaking did it. Yes. Yeet. Yes. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Victory. Victory. Ah. an odd sound okay nevertheless we are victorious let us get out of this dreaded place oh wow that was harrowing it was a harrowing just as they said let us <laughs> save really quick so that if we should die <laughs> oh yes adventurers uh, today is a good day to be sure a good day to be sure it may have taken us a while but oh oh it was well worth it I feel I feel a sense of accomplishment I do I do I really do and we will certainly come back and raid this burial ground for for more relics. Uh, up, up, up it is, itimus, itimus, up it is, get up it is. I'm a wizard, Harry. This is fantastic. I almost didn't know where I was for a second. Haha. <laughs> Too much skooma. I may have licked some moon sugar before I came down here. But hell, I figured if I was gonna go die, I was gonna die while I was high. Oh, that's just terrible. Don't ever go into a cave while inebriated, intoxicated, or incapacitated. It is a bad time for all. Of course it's, of course it's nighttime. Ah, uh, twin moons. Uh, in which direction must we go? We must go this way. 
I wonder if I go straight such as they told me whether I will see what they mean by rock cairn. I don't know what a cairn is. I mean, I know what a cairn is. Nick's Hound, please. I melt spirits. I eat the spirit's ass. That that's crazy. It was right there. They said go they said go along the co You people are assholes. That's the reason why you're out here in the desert, all right? It's got nothing to do with your religion. It's that people don't like you. No sense about you. Sulmatul, I come oh, with your no. father's bow. Wait, you are unclean and oh, what? What's wrong with me? Brown rot. Interesting. I did not see that. I will have to keep my eye out for that. I am apparently rotting. Wait. What? Huh? No. No, no, no. Oh, there we go. Cool. I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. So, Outlander, have you completed the initiation rite? And have I ever? This is my father's bone by Tabo. You have completed the initiation rite. I name you Draven Gur, clan friend of the Ashlanders. Keep my father's bow and bear it with honor. You are a friend of the tribe and may rest in any Urshalaku bed but do not harm other tribe members or take their things. And now I will fulfill my promise. Go to the wise woman's yurt and Nibani Misa shall examine you and test you against the Nereverine prophecies. Now that you are a clan friend, I wish to speak plainly. I find it hard to believe that you are the Nereverine. You are an outlander, but the Nereverine comes to drive out all outlanders from Morrowind. How could an outlander be the incarnate? The great houses stole our lands and mocked us with false gods. The godless outlanders steal our land and our dignity. The Nereverine is the last hope the Ashlanders have. I will not let no outlander steal this hope from us. These are serious words, Dravengur, words of life and death. I see honor and merit in you, and I am proud to name you clan friend. But take care of what you say, and do in the name of the Nereverine. Now go question Nabani Misa and learn all she can from you. And where does she reside? You never told me where she is. She's somewhere. We'll find her. She's probably got a plate. Yep, yeah, she's got a placemat. She's got a she's got a doormat, that's the reason. Nabani, so they've told me of you, Outlander, or should I say, clan friend, you are hard-headed and ignorant, but perhaps it is not your fault. My lord Ashkan says you will ask me about the Nereverine prophecies. He also says I will test you against the Nereverine prophecies. I must do as my lord Ashkan says, so ask your questions and I will test you. There are many Nereverine prophecies, and they suggest many things. Aspect and uncertain parents, the moon and star, sleepers, seven curses, the curse's bane, the prophecy of the stranger, the prophecy of the seven visions, the lost prophecies. Ask me these things, if you are patient, if you would be wise, or if you would be impatient to know, just ask, do I pass the test of the Nereverine prophecies? 
Go ahead, Outlander. I am the wise woman. Ask your questions and I shall answer. Aspect and uncertain parents. If what you say is true, you are indeed born on a certain day of uncertain parents. This is part of the prophecy, but you may have the same birthday, and many are not sure of their parents. It is interesting, but it does not make you the Nereverine. The Moon and Star Legend says Indurel Nerevar's family's family standard bore the Moon and Star, and Nerevar's armor and weapons bore this sign. Some say he bore a Moon and Star birthmark. Some say he has a magic ring marked with a Moon and Star. Others say he was born under a moon and star. In any case, I think the moon and star is the mark of the Nereverine, and you do not have this mark, so you are not the Nereverine. Sleepers. Rumors say that in towns, mad cultists called sleepers are attacking people, saying that Dagoth Ur has awakened and will drive the outlanders from Morrowind. Perhaps it is just coincidence, but I think it is a, it is a sign of the Nereverine. Not necessarily a sign that you are the Nereverine. Perhaps the time of the Nereverine has come, and you have come at the same time. This is not passing a test, but it may mean you have some part to play in the coming of the Nereverine. The Seven Curses Oh no. The Seven Curses. It is another Ashlander prophecy of the Nereverine. It is called the Seven Curses of Sharmat, but I do not know it, and I know no one who does. It may be lost. Such things happen. A wise woman dies or forgets, or a clan is wiped out. Perhaps someone knows, but is keeping it a secret. Perhaps it is one in one of those many books of your settled peoples. I have heard that the dissident priests of the temple may have such books. The Prophecy of the Stranger this is the best known of the Nereverine prophecies. We call it the Stranger. When earth is sundered and skies choked black, and sleepers serve the seven curses, to the hearth there comes a stranger, journeyed near far neath moon and star. Though stark born to sire uncertain, his aspect marks a certain fate. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him. Prophets speak, but all deny. Many trials make manifest the stranger's fate, the curse's bane. Many touchstones try the stranger. Many fall, but one remains. The Seven Visions The full title of the prophecies is The Seven Visions of Seven Trials of the Incarnate. Listen and I will tell you the verses. Seven Trials what he puts his hand to, that shall be done. What is left undone, that shall be done. First trial. On a certain day to uncertain parents, inc incarnate moon and star reborn. Second trial. Neither blight nor age can harm him. The cure of flesh before him flies. Third trial. In caverns dark Azura, the eye, Azura's eyes see, and makes to shrine the moon and star. Fourth trial. A stranger's voice unites the houses. Three halls call him Hor Hortater. Fifth trial. A stranger's hand unites the Velothi. Four tribes call him the Reverie. Sixth trial. He honors blood of the tribe unmourned. He eats their sin and is reborn. Seventh trial. His mercy frees the cursed false gods, binds the broken, redeems the mad. One destiny. He speaks, for, he speaks the law for Velos people. He speaks for their land and names them great. What does this prophecy mean? It tells us who the Nereverine will be, and the trials he must undergo before he fulfills his destiny. Some parts I understand, some parts I do not. I will answer your questions the best I can, but I cannot pretend to un understand it all. S disturbing Dreams this is a strange dream indeed. The Sharmat Dagoth Ur speaks to you in the voice of prophecy. He curses the three betrayers, the three false gods, Vivek, Alamexia, and Sothasil. He calls you to drive the outlanders from Morrowind. This is a very strong dream, very cunning, 
a dream to stir hearts. This is a very good lie. He called you Nerevar, and the dream of the Nereverine is very strong and very dangerous for you and all my people. Lost Prophecies There are some Nereverine prophecies that have been lost, the seven curses and others. Some are forgotten, some are hidden, some deliberately lost. The wise women are the memory of the Velothi people. But it is a faulty memory, and we are mortal, and our knowledge dies with us. But we hear that the dissident priests of the temple study our Nereverine prophecies and record them in books. Such written words never die, and you must go to them and ask for those books, and bring what you find to me. Dagoth Ur is the devil and the enemy. Dagoth Ur and his beasts and servants are the source of many evils that beset the Dunmer and Morrowind. Dagoth Ur dwells in fiery caverns beneath Red Mountain, served by his kin called Ash Vampires and by legions of deformed monsters. One Destiny Velos people are the Dunmer, all Dunmer, Ashlander, and Great House. The last time the Velothi were reunited were with Nerevar at the Battle of Red Mountain. Now Nerevar will come once again and unite the Dunmer. He will restore Morrowind to the Dunmer and restore the former greatness of the Velothi people. I've asked her all of these questions. I don't know. You are not the Nereverine. You are one who may become the Nereverine. It is a puzzle and a hard one, but you have found some of the pieces and you may find more. Do you choose to be the Nereverine? Then seek the lost prophecies amongst the distant priests of the temple. Find the lost prophecies, bring them to me, and I will be your guide. And take these copies of the Stranger and the Seven Visions, now I have told you all I know. Go, think on what I've told you, and do what must be done. Adventurers. Our journey well, has... Measure, our journeys have... taken us to a place where maybe we are the Nereverine and maybe we're not but our journey has clearly just begun for whatever reason the Emperor has brought us here and we must we must seek that answer we do not know we do not know there are many unknowns right now and we must seek to find them out. This is indeed... Truly revolutionary. Revelations. Will we succeed? What is our destiny? Where do we go from here? These are questions asked, and they are questions that we must answer. After we kill this damn rat, and every cliff racer in this land. These are strange days. Strange days indeed. But we will walk together. We will go through the fire. And we will find out what the story means. Together. Until next time, adventurers. Farewell. <laughs>